It's Kobe Bryant. Help me. Just pass me the trophies and we'll pull you out. Pass? These were shattered. Really interesting topic tonight. Unfortunately, there's been some sad news, and you've probably already seen this, but Kobe Bryant passed away uh, today, and rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. I wasn't really uh, into sports that much, but I do recognize that he made some really big impacts on this planet, and it's very sad to see this uh, this news. Also, I believe either one or two of his daughters were on the uh, aircraft, were on the um, helicopter with him, and it's just sad to hear this. And it 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 sets a tone for, um, you know, it's just it impacts the world on a very high level. It makes everybody think about life and how great life is, and how easily it can be taken away. Yep. <clears throat> Also, there is a um, some really interesting things to look at when it comes to uh, the energy that's surrounding this mm -hmm. and, and what happened with this particular event. Uh, I was doing a little <clears throat> bit of deep diving because I do deep diving on current events quite often. And it's actually my passion to look at things from an energetic perspective. So world events... Um, Matthew says one daughter. Okay. Uh, yeah. We yeah. Were... I heard that there were two, so I think we'll just have to see when we get the final word. I think it was one also. It's been a really sad day around, around here though. And you can feel it with, you know, the energy of the collective. It's pretty sad. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So Kobe passed away, but there is a couple things that I wanted to look at from the quantum perspective of this one of the things that i found was this tweet this tweet was put out uh, in 2012 and it was by a handle on twitter n dot oso or no so dot no so dot no so so um basically what he said is kobe is going to end up dying in a helicopter crash what I found was fascinating about this was there was 90,000 retweets and 145,000 likes. Wow. Which is kind of crazy. But it got me thinking as to how this affects the energy around a certain situation. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe that what happened with Kobe was not necessarily, and with this guy, was not necessarily a prediction. It was a manifestation, Max. And there was even another piece of information that I found that also pointed to this particular thing. I actually found a video that was, um, I forget the name. It, hey, Max, Alfie, one second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Our dogs are getting. You know into how it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> there was a um, a piece of information that came out from a show from Comedy Central. Okay. And it was actually a a video. I'm gonna play the video for you guys. Um, I don't know what to think of it, but a I prediction do. Prediction video. It wasn't necessarily a prediction. I don't think. Wow. But it, I think it added. There's something underneath the surface here that we want to explore. Okay. Right and. I'm gonna connect the dots a little bit later in this this section, this uh, this um, uh, segment. But and you're gonna see it. We're gonna actually take a look at what happens with tarot readings. Yeah. And you'll see how this actually plays its part from the quantum perspective. Yeah, Matthew. <laughs> what are the kids up to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go ahead and have a look at this video real quick. <laughs> It's Kobe Bryant. Help me. Just pass me the trophies and we'll pull you out. Pass. These were shattered. All right, so obviously 
you see Kobe Bryant inside of a helicopter. Mm -hmm. And this video was put out in 2018. He was inside of a helicopter. It shows a helicopter crashing and blowing up at the end. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be two separate things. It could be that this is a prediction. It also could be that this is a manifestation, right? And these are both possible from the quantum field and the quantum perspective. You can predict the future and you can also manifest things into reality. I think what happened is in this particular situation was a manifestation, okay? Uh, just looking at some of the underlying energy behind this, all right? So um, I want to have a look and talk about what happens with tarot readings okay. in particular. And you'll start to see why this or how this is... Um, how we are connecting the dots and understanding this from a quantum perspective. So let's talk about tarot cards and what happens when you get a tarot reading. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> basically, what happens is somebody gives a tarot reading and let's make sure we got sound. Mm -hmm. Somebody gives a tarot reading and they, most people would say it's a prediction. It's something that's going to be predicted to happen in the future. And this could be the case in, in certain cir circumstances. Mm -hmm. But I believe what happens in most of the time is that a manifestation happens. So what happens on the conscious level basically is an event is, bring, is brought into the awareness. Mm -hmm. Right? So let's say you're reading tarot cards and it talks about the magician. And I don't really know the, the significance behind tarot cards. Maybe you can uh, mm -hmm. give me some information in regards to that. But what I do know is the person getting the reading, information is given to them. Mm -hmm. They become aware of that information. Mm -hmm. Then they start to look for that information. Exactly. Right? Yep. And then the universe co-creates mm -hmm. with the individual or with the person that got the reading. And that information becomes a physical reality yep and what happens is from a conscious perspective when something is be is brought to awareness you'll notice things like this with um people calling like if you have if you thought about somebody and then they call you mm -hmm. that day if you buy a car you or, see that car everywhere you see that car everywhere or you start seeing number patterns and those number patterns show up everywhere yep you know stuff like that it's not necessarily that there is this like synchronistic impact it's that you become more aware of it mm -hmm. and i think in this particular situation with kobe and let me know your thoughts on this mm -hmm. that this tweet was done in 2012 there was 90,000 people that retweeted it mm -hmm. maybe kobe actually came across it mm -hmm. but essentially what happens Most is likely. this got brought awareness on a macro level major scale Right. On a global scale. And everybody was either talking about this or had this idea. And on a macro scale, this became a reality, mm -hmm. a physical reality. Mm -hmm. So in other words, this was actually a manifestation. Now, this could be very controversial. And we're not saying that this is 100% the situation. Right? Anything can happen in any given situation. I just believe that this is what happened in this situation. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Well, back to the tarot. I believe that, you know, with all of those things, cer we put certain meaning to certain things. That's what happens right. with tarot. And all those cards mean something different. And I feel like when a card is pulled for someone or a spread is, is created for someone, a seed is planted for someone, and then they choose whether or not to shift their focus to that thing. And if they're not conscious about it, naturally their focus shifts to that thing, even with astrology. If an astrologer tells you, oh, the Mars is in this place with Venus, oh exactly. man, and you go, oh man, okay, now I got to watch out for problems with communication right. or whatever else. And so I do believe that is a choice. Um, as far as what's, ha what's happened here today, I do have uh, my own personal beliefs, once again, like you said, 
not to make any assumptions for anyone else, but I definitely have a lot of deeply rooted beliefs about us choosing what happens in our life, a certain mon monumental moments and shifts in, in our life path, I believe are destined in a sense, if you want to mm -hmm. use that term. And so I found myself before you and I talked today looking at, wow, what, you know, what a beautiful, what a beautiful life that he chose to lead. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Like what a great guy that was and right. what a massive impact he had on the planet and what a great time he had and what a, what a, a message that he left and how he shifted the world while he was here. That's originally what I was thinking. And, um, I do find it quite interesting that we look back and find these so-called predictions. And I do believe that you're right on track saying that, you know, a ton of energy was put in that direction because mm -hmm. of the amount of people that were so excited about the life of him. Yeah, we're getting quite a few comments here. There's a lot of people saying, uh, sad, nine people gone too soon. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's it's a tragic event. It's it's uh it's terrible, but unfortunately these things do happen and life does come to an end at some point. But then it also, in my opinion, starts back up again. Absolutely. So, um, let us know your thoughts if you have any questions about this in particular thing. I think it's just a life path and faith. Uh, Callie is saying, um, <laughs> Tabitha, can everyone? Uh, believe I won the lottery jackpot and that would be, be good with that manifestation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean wh what we're getting at here is the more energy that goes into something the more likely it becomes a reality. Mm -hmm. Right? And this is only one small thing. If you guys <laughs> sat next to Christian for the last few years the way I have and you would see so many so called predictions from huge global events this is just one that we're looking at here today. Yeah. So it's it's, it's, it's interesting it, it's a different um it's a different look at future reads also future reading yeah and understanding what happens with tarot cards and with card readings and even psychic readings too to a certain extent uh, i believe that once it's brought into our conscious reality when we become aware of these things mm -hmm. it's more likely that it happens and you'll see those patterns mm -hmm. come into your reality mm -hmm. so um you are able to manifest with volition, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. And you don't necessarily need 90,000 people to retweet something to bring something into reality. And also on the flip side of that, I mean, this is kind of like, this is kind of what I wanted to speak on as well. This is kind of like modern day magic or curse casting, I believe. Yeah. You know what I mean? So think about what goes around on social media. And how people use social media today. A lot of people just push a lot of negative talk and a, leg and a lot of negative um, news and circumstances. And they talk about stuff that, th that really most people wouldn't want to live that reality. Yeah. But they turn around and they live that reality because they're pushing their energy into that. Yep, and it comes down to the micro level. And this is a really hard lesson to learn. And this is a really hard thing to say, but think about the little tiny complaints that you're making all day long. Think about what you're putting out there. I mean, it breaks my heart when I see someone I love or someone in here saying something negative about their life. I'm just like, oh no, please don't put your energy towards that. Like speak about what you want to call in. Right, right. And, and so with social media, here's something um, that you might be able to use in regards to what you do on social media to better your life. This is something that I was doing. And another angle of what's happening here as well, something to consider, right? As I was going through my entrepreneur uh, story and developing myself as an entrepreneur, one of my pitfalls was I was using social media to broadcast that to the world. Okay. So I would have a thought. I would put that out, I'm going to make a million dollars or I'm going to do this to make a million dollars or whatever it was. And then the energy went into actually doing that. Mm -hmm. And I got a thrill out of doing that mm -hmm. as opposed to actually going out and making the million dollars. Right. And you're so, risking, you know, your social media naysayers putting a bunch of negative right. energy towards something positive right. totally, that you totally. want to create. Right. But, um, but also these things come into reality. 
So, but, but what it was doing from that perspective and that moment in time was the momentum that I was having in that moment was going towards doing that post. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that energy was like exhilarating and it was ex- exciting. Yep. But it wasn't going towards actually doing the 20% the of the thing that yeah. would bring you the 80% result. <laughs> right. Yeah, totally. Totally. So uh, this is a pitfall with, uh, with social media to uh, be aware of. Also be aware of the posts that you're putting through your feeds and that you're, you know, if you don't want to live that reality, don't put it through your feeds. Yeah. There's a great Mother Teresa quote that aligns with the law of attraction and it explains the law of attraction to the teeth, right? Exactly down to the level that you need to understand it. And it's, don't call me for an anti-war rally. Call me for a, a peace rally, Yeah. basically. I'm paraphrasing that. It's probably not that exactly. But mm-hmm. what this means is I don't want to go to an anti-war rally to put my energy into the anti-war Because that creates more wars. Mm -hmm. I want to put my energy and my focus into the pro-peace rally. And it's a brilliant quote. And it totally sums up, you know, the law of attraction and how that works. Mm -hmm. And what most people overlook. Yep. So um, this is a a new little um, section of our podcast and show coming up called The Quantum Awakening. This segment is called the Pockets of Now, where we deconstruct and look at current events and things that are happening from a quantum perspective, understanding the energy behind it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we look forward to bringing you guys more content with the Pockets of Now and the Quantum Awakening on the Trinity Room. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, We'll see you very, very soon. 